When I started my career, I, I, I put, a, 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 it was in the 1990s, and there was this movie called Schindler's List. Most people have seen that. And in that movie, uh, there is one sentence from the Torah. Uh, and I'm not talking specific religions, just, just from being godly. And it says, he who saves one life saves the world entire. Now at that time, as a young surgeon, I put it on my wall and it would be something I would look at and that was a, it was an inspirational concept. But truly what that means, now after all these years and so forth, what that means is he who saves that one person is this, not you. If I save me as a human, you save you and all of us save ourselves by fighting these negative aspects of our being which have been programmed into us by nature and biology. And, 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 and how other people around us behave. Y yes, that's what I mean. But see, if everyone does that, um, that's exactly how you save the world. So I never interpreted it that way. I took it more face value, you save someone else, and, and so forth. Yeah. But this is, you know, you can just see that that, that actually is a, is a beautiful thing. And I think that that is my only uh, sort of quibble, you want to say it, in a very minor thing with our leaders of our country, is that they don't see the world like that. I think America is the greatest gift to humanity from a political standpoint, uh, and the potential for America to change the world is just ceaseless. Um, and it is within our capacity, and this is where I think we need to strive to be for all our leaders, whoever they are, is to do that, to inspire our people because this is our history shows we have done this many times. We have done exactly what you and I are talking about in America, and we have reached great heights because of that. A at the moment, we, we are not thinking like that a little bit because we have sort of drawn lines and we have made it very simple, but it's not. I think if we all saw the good that's in us as not a natural thing, but an active process that has to be brought out through the bad. And that's really what it is. You have to reach in your heart, go past the bad, which is in all of us, and get the good out of there. And if you did that on an individual basis, on a national basis, on a world basis. Or a universe basis. Universe who, knows, basis. who knows who else is out yeah. there. Well, we would go up there if we did that, you know? And and that, that's an amazing thing. The thing that amazes me is even though we're so flawed as humans. That we're so good as well. That we're so good. Yeah, so I want, I want to give context to that Schindler's List scene to whoever hasn't seen that. So this is at the end of the film and Oscar Schindler has been uh, buying uh, Jewish Holocaust uh, camp members mm -hmm. from this Nazi guard who is both a Nazi and financially corrupt and he buys so many of these people and then they're free they can go do they can go live and uh, this this one of Schindler's sort of friends gives this ring to him and gives that line he who saves the world saves the world entire and it, it hits Schindler at a very deep level and he notices that he has a nice car, he has a nice jacket, he has a ring, he has all this stuff, and he starts saying, this car, he would have bought this car, that would be 10 people, this ring, this would be two people, one person, one person, mm -hmm. and that person is dead. Mm -hmm. And he says, I could have got one more person. Mm -hmm. And at the, the, the same time, this guy's telling him, you know, listen, you did so much, 1,100 people are alive because of what you did. And that's all true. Yeah. But there's always more, always more. He says, I could have got one more person, and I didn't. And he collapses on the floor crying. And all these people around him start coming, they start hugging him, and mm -hmm. whatever. And that is a, a truly beautiful 
but it, I've I've seen the movie once. I've seen that scene t- twenty or fifty times. Mm-hmm. It is a beautiful, beautiful scene. But you know that it is. It, the, the neat thing about it is that he w- was uh, just a, a businessman. To him, in the beginning of his experience, these people were just commodities. They were simply a means of making pots, if you recall. So no, I, so he bought them so he could work. They can work in his factory. Absolutely. So that changes the. He was. Bit. A, he right. was. But that's the, 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 the that makes it even more powerful, because he was going towards the norm. Of what people do, there's a war. Oh. He's a business guy. He is actually he, he's shrewd, so he can play the game, get a factory going. Here it is. It's a factory that's empty. It's owned by a Jewish owner, and the Nazis take it over. So he's using these people to make money. And it's possible that if he weren't making money off it, he couldn't have saved as many. Yeah, as well. Very but, interesting. But he reached the, at some point. His humanity came out because he saw what he was really doing. He thought yes. he was making money, yes. but there's something deeper in him that made him even deal with this Nazi guy yes. and and do all that. Yeah, yes. yeah. You know that is the, actually he. To be totally honest with you, he thought that he was saving those I don't know 1,100 Jewish people or whatever. And most people on the surface look at that and say that's what he did. Schind- Oscar Schindler saved 1,200 Jewish people. No, the 1,200 Jewish people saved Oscar Schindler. They gave him a soul. They let him reach through the pain and, and all of the negative things in his heart, which were to make money off of concentration camp prisoners, and find the good in his heart. And that is an active struggle. And I'm not trying to act like uh, you know uh, we're better people than the usual or anything. This is not really. This is not coming out of arrogance or any of this better than thou thing. This is a life lesson. 